Welcome back everyone to more Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing. And we are down now to our final two races in this particular series on the channel. And up today is Arrowwood. Now we've had a lot of good results at Arrowwood. I think primarily because things get so spread out and we don't have to deal with a lot of the stuff that we've dealt with recently here in the series. So four tenths of a mile with high banking, unless you get right down to the very bottom where there is very little banking. Only a $3,000 purse, but we're gonna do everything we can to maximize our take out of that. First thing we need to do is come in and do some repairs. Make sure we have everything in the best possible shape to compete. So there we go, back up to a plus 116 on the car. Everything appears to be set. Let's head to Arrowwood. Practice and qualifying are done and well, we did everything we needed to do. We met our practice goal time of 12.73 and actually beat it by a couple of tenths. And in qualifying, we sat on the pole by backing up our practice time. Now, second place in qualifying was about a 12.54, I believe. So we just merely made the pole, but we are on the pole nonetheless. Let's head to the heat race. All right, heat race number one. We are on the pole. Let's see what kind of race we have. So take your seats and enjoy the action. And we're green. This should be an exciting race. Let's get this party started. Let's go. All right, so far so good after lap one. Again, the biggest thing we need is to make sure we're in the top two, but of course we want to get a race victory anytime we can get one. Two more laps to go. Ooh, look out, I'm too loose there. One more lap to go. Alright, let's go to the high side for this last lap, or at least a little bit higher anyway. No need to get all the way to the top. We'll save that for the 410s, and who knows, maybe the 305s, but... And that's it. The race is over. All right, so in our heat race, not too much trouble there. Uh, for the first couple of laps, they were right there with us, but after that, we managed to pull away at least a little bit. Now it's time for the qualifying the dash. dash is on the track. The winner starts on the pole of the A-Main. That is the goal. We want to start from the pole. We qualified on the pole. It would be awesome action. to sit on the pole of the big there race. So let's see if we can get off to a good start and make that happen. This is gonna be our first opportunity to see what kind of speed these guys have here in the qualifying dash. And immediately, Tony Stewart just ran off and left us right there. The dirt is really flying out there. This race is getting intense. All right, we're hanging in there pretty good. A little bit higher up on the track than I might otherwise run right about now. But again, trying to give everybody room. Because this is not the big race. This is simply a qualifier. So once Tony Stewart got off to that great start, he has not really pulled away from us a whole lot. Instead, he's maintaining a pretty great pace, actually. Cars handling perfectly fine. And we'll come home in third. So not bad overall. In fact, third is probably a little bit better than running second because in third, we get to start Welcome on the inside. The With so many talented drivers, this should be a great race. Good luck, everybody. Should be a great race, indeed. We're looking for a great ready, finish, man. if not a victory. Here we go. All right, let's get off to a good start, see what we've got, just see how the speed works out for us here at the very beginning of the race. So we're right down here on this bottom, and smartly, he was trying to keep us down there. I really want to be on that outside. Couldn't quite get there. All right, let's try to find some bit of rhythm. And again, just see how we stack up. All, for racing. All right, there's no way with that entry into turn one, there's no way he can carry any speed through there. But yet, he did just that. All right, so Stewart jumps out to a very nice lead early on. I'm just trying to be smooth as I can, and there's not need for very much of any steering input this track. You're basically making 
minor corrections as needed. Man, that driver is really tearing it up out there. Great lap. All right, so now I'm focused go. on the traffic up ahead of us and trying to see what they're going to give us on the track. Oh, look out. That was close. Stewart got pinched off. So right now, I think we're in the lead again. Don't want to spend a whole lot of time looking anywhere other than where we need to be looking. This is one of the reasons why I like higher on the track at this particular track, at least because the AI tend to give you that lane, not always, but a lot of times they tend to give you that. And you can run that pretty easily. Ah, just leave me alone up here. We'll be fine. Ooh, I was worried he was coming up here with me. That contact was on me there. I thought he was going down a little bit lower than he did, so I clipped him. That's my fault. Five laps to go. Thankfully, it really didn't hurt either one of us, so I like that. All right, so I'm in the lead right now, but as always, I have absolutely no idea where anybody else is on the track. Second position could be right behind us, uh, but I don't see anybody, so I'm just going to go as if they're right there with us and then whatever happens happens as long as these lap traffic will give us a nice groove toward the middle and upper end of the track then we'll be just fine again cars handling quite nice just trying not to turn the steering wheel any more than i have to Basically running it like uh, Daytona or Talladega. All right, so there you have it. Coming off the final corner, we will bring home the victory. Now, I have no idea if it was an easy victory or what. I know it was not easy from my perspective, but it looks like we had about two seconds on second place. So we will definitely, definitely take that victory. Thank you very much, and we'll move forward. All right, so our first place finish still has us in eighth position in the season standings. All right, so we saw before that there was a, a huge gap in the points from eighth on up above that. And, of course, our portion of the prize purse, $3,000 even, adding in our merch and sponsor payouts, $3,938. So we've got to be getting very close to the amount needed to purchase and begin our 305 team, but we'll have to find that out here in just a moment when we head to the summary. All right, we are credited with moderate driving. We lose only a couple of points of performance and otherwise very little loss at all. So that is awesome. That means that the repairs will cost even less than what we're used to. So our first place goal definitely uh, is met. Our sponsor goal of two top fives in two races. So one checkbox down for that. $4,658 gives us a new bank account total of $18,815. Still about three to $4,000 off of where we need to be to start that 305 team, but we've still got one race remaining in the season, and it is easily the most lucrative race of the season. We pick up 11 more fans for a new total of 474 fans. So it has been an awesome ride through the midget cars we've spent tons of time struggling entire seasons struggling but we have worked our way up through the pack and now have a couple of victories under our belt as we prepare for the finale thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more tony stewart sprint car racing